New of, Testament. Of, a massacre of children. That's what, no, no, that's, all, that's, that's the what the Testament. Bible preaches. That's not the gospel. Well, those, those were there was bad people in the Bible and there was good people in the Bible. Yeah. The good people in Second the Kings, Elijah yeah. was walking through some path, right? And a couple of kids came out, children, by the way. You know how children are, right? They came out and said, "Hey, Baldy, Baldy, get out of here! Baldy, Baldy, get out of here!" Exactly, that. it's funny, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a child. Child, children do crazy stuff, right? They can be Elijah, bad. Elijah, turn around and curse them. Two bears really? came out, killed 42 yeah, children. Content to buy everything! context of that particular story, we don't know the ins and outs of it. So we'll have to look at it. So Second Kings. Yeah. The Jewish people believe yeah. Elijah was the, uh, the Messiah. Yeah, at some point, yeah. That's some did, yeah. Right. But what did those children do to die. for them to die oh, in that horrible place. way? But don't you believe in the Torah? If God was so loving, so merciful, so understanding, so reasonable. He could have surely said, ah, they're just teasing him. Let it be. Just let it be. Carry on, Elijah. Go. Carry on. No, but you know, God, he prays to God and God sends two bears and mutilates all 42 children. How can he kill 42 children? Surely those kids can run away. Then they have feet. But in societies, like throughout Were they cornered in some place or something? I don't no, get it. People rebel and then God, I understand Jesus, People, I understand people. human. I understand if it was, if it was you, an adult, who, are, who have a sane mind, you know, you, you can think for yourself, you have logic, reasoning in your head. A child is 50-50, they, they, they sway back and forth, you know? When, you know how a child when, behaves. Explain something. Children will be children. When, when, children misbehave, when, right? Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. even misbehaved, but right? Am I right or wrong? Jesus. When, it was, when Jesus was a child, did not, he misbehave Not that or not? it was documented. Exactly, yeah. not, not that it was documented, but yeah, you know, it's, just, it's a childish thing, you know? Children misbehave. Now, when a child says Muslim? to you, Boldy, 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 yes, I am, alhamdulillah. You're Muslim, right? Yes, I am, alhamdulillah. So you're meant to believe in the Torah? Sorry? You're meant to believe in the Torah, yeah? Yeah, the original, uh, the original in Jil, yes, and the Torah. No, 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 no. And, and the, the Torah, Torah yes. So yeah, the you original believe Torah. in these stories, but, but here's, here's my no, conclusion. Not the ones that they have now. The, well, these are falsified. No, Even no, no, Jesus no. says those that no. write with the false pen. Those, those, the, 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 the those Sanhedrin. have been well and Didn't Jesus say Sanhedrin uh, were writing things with the false pen? Yes, but, but Didn't those, Jesus say that the Sanhedrin were writing things with the false pen and yes, trying to attribute but those but words about, to God? But what we're talking about in the in the Torah, that's been verified, has been historically correct. No, but can like I tell what? you? Can I, like what? Well, many, of think, many of those things have been, yeah. Hold on, can I, can I, can I tell you about the Torah, the Ten Commandments? They, Moses, like all the laws that are today are based on the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill. What how, if you kill somebody you go to prison? That that was from Moses. That started from Moses. You should change that law straight that away. That two that two <laughs> that two law you just mentioned there. But that's where it came from. And that's fine. That's why I, we have we, rules. We respect yeah. it. We follow those laws. Yeah, right. the Ten Commandments. Yeah, but those two most, that you just mentioned. Most countries do. Thou shalt not kill. Yeah. What do Israeli soldiers do on a daily basis, especially with children? Well, that's different. No, 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 no. But they're still Jews. What do they do? They kill children. Thou shall not steal. I mean, I understand How the much way of the feel. land I mean, of Palestine have they stolen? Yeah, yeah. How much of the land of Palestine have they stolen? Thou shall not steal lands, yeah? Take people's lands. How much of the lands have they stolen? But you know, bloodshed happens throughout the world. I understand. To all I understand. Races. I understand. Look at look at what I happened. I understand. Look at what I happened with Adolf Hitler. What the Americans yeah. did to, to the Iraqis on a falsified yeah. WMD and it killed I over a million Iraqis you take for nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know, true. even Tony Blair. Tony Blair's got blood on his hands. He's a he's a murderer. So, so he's a murderer. You know, even Bush and Blair. So well, not, none of those people are of God. They're yeah. they're they're. You know, every saint. soldier that died in those wars, the Iraqi war, the Afghan war, and yeah. all the Middle Eastern wars, right. when they come back in their body, in, in the caskets, when they're buried, and what do they put on top of their tombstone? What do they put on their tombstone? A cross. So are they not Christians? Are they not Christians that go into a Muslim lands, creating destruction, killing women and children, raping them? How can American soldiers go there to liberate them and start raping children, but but women and God, children? That's not something British God soldiers did it too. That's you're right. What is that? That's right. What is it? We can't. But you are Christian. Those soldiers are Christians. For every Wasn't individual. Blair a Christian? We cannot. Isn't the general, but, but, Attorney General, a Christian? Judge, does he not go to church? But when he every, dies, does he not? Is he not going to have a cross on his chin? Wait, but can I explain? So can who's the killers? Then? Who's the killers? Wait, can I explain? Can I just I explain? Who's the killers? Can I? Explain? There's suffering in the world, but yeah. when you go out, great suffer. But. 
Didn't Britain create suffering in Afghanistan? Didn't Britain create suffering in Iraq? Didn't Britain create suffering in Syria, Libya, Africa, Adolf India? Hitler killed the Jews. The yeah. British Name your are the that worst. Has. Name me a people that hasn't killed. 40 million people they organized, starved to death. They organized 40 the million people yeah. starved. Was it? No, no. 140 million people starved to death on World War II in India. Because Churchill took all the resources from India. Sorry, sir. And took them for the World War II, yeah? For, for his troops. But while there, women, children were starving to death. 140 million people starved to death. I just want to. I just. I just so wanted bad. to comment on the Muslims. Good point. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why be here? Obviously, it's, it's, it's not. It's yeah. not that straightforward. So if you this country is not so bad. If, if you the English Otherwise, people, you know. because in other words, what you're saying is that every Muslim is a good person. Not 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 every Musl
What is Jesus? Wait, how do you compare Jesus to Muhammad? What's the difference? No, give me, give I am talking about your Bible that you Jesus believe in. And the life no, I'm talking we about the Christians, Bible. Yeah. yeah. So we as Christians follow the Bible in the example of Jesus. Jesus has set the example of us in terms of our lives. So that's why we follow Jesus. So you call yourself a Christian? Yeah. There's a bit of a clue in the name. Okay. Do you follow Christ? Do you do you do you do miracles in the name of Jesus? Do you cast out demons in the name of Jesus? I've done. Uh, yeah. So when the Bible says in the day of judgment that will people will come and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, we yeah. cast out demons yeah. in your name. Yeah. We did miracles in your yeah. name. And then Jesus says, Get away from me, you yeah. evil do doers. Do I don't know that? you. Do you understand why he said that? Why he said that? It's About which people he said? Because he was in that example, he was saying that you're trying to tell me that you are going to receive. No, don't make me, your me, own me, interpretation. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is what it means. I'm giving you the Christian answer to this. Go on. He was saying to these people, because you're doing these things, it doesn't make you receive salvation. Your salvation is through your heart, your genuineness as a person. So just because you're doing all these great things, that doesn't guarantee anything. That's what Jesus' principle was. Jesus was like, he had many examples of parables where he's saying, in the heart of the individual, if you truly believe and you truly repent, you are saved. That was the basis of salvation, not on the basis of your works. And that is consistent in scripture. No. That's my question is So it wasn't going to be on the in, basis of those works. My question is That's what he meant. The Bible says yeah. in the day of judgment, yeah. people will come to Jesus yeah. and say, My Lord, my Lord, yeah. we did miracles in your name. We yeah. did cast yeah. out demons in your name. Yeah. And then Jesus says Get away from yeah, me, you evil! It doesn't mean all those that Let's, do that. It doesn't so mean all it, of them. So okay, in today's... You're missing the point. Okay, in today, yeah. which people do miracles in the name of Jesus? So again, you're missing the point. I'm sorry, that is a fundamental misinterpretation of scripture. Does Hindu does miracles in the name of Jesus? What, was, what Jesus is trying to say here? It doesn't no, mean no. everyone that Answer my question, things. sir. Yeah. Does Hindu do miracles in the name of Jesus? Probably not. Does Buddhists do cast out demons in the name of Jesus? No. Which people do these things in the name of Jesus? Um, well, Christians at least. Christian. Not just so Christians, in the day of judgment, the same Bible is saying that these people will be told by Jesus, means. get away from no, me, you evil doers. It's not what he was saying. You need to read, read the uh, Sir, verses before and after. Read the whole context. If you can read English, yeah. when you read English, Words mean something else. Yeah, yeah, but you're misapplying it. Mate. You're misapplying why it. Why am I misapplying you it? You are. I tell you why. This is a very common mistake of Muslims. Okay. No, the, does the Muslims, Bible say this? The Muslims words? read the Bible and interpret the Bible the way they interpret the Quran. The Bible has got to be interpreted quite different in the way that the Quran has got to be interpreted. They can't be interpreted in the same way. That's okay. a fundamental mistake. Can I read you, you a Bible draw, and tell me draw, what you get out of it? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you can draw all sorts of Okay, this is an explicit verse. Right. And it's in English. Yeah. Please tell me what do you understand yeah. from this. Go for it. Go for it. Men of Israel, yeah. listen to these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man, yeah. attested to you by God mm -hmm. with miracles and wonders, yeah. signed which God performs through him yeah. in your midst. Just as you yourself know this man, what do you get out of this son? Just like Jesus is a special individual that can perform miracles. By, by the power of who? By the power of God. So not by the power of himself, by the power of God. But, well, it's... It's, it's, no, it's an explicit verse. It's yes. Acts 2.22, uh, 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 men of Israel. Right, let, let, me, let me explain something then. So in, in scripture where it talks about, like for example, at the beginning, Jesus created all things. No, sir, my question is, no, let me, let me, let if me, I'm reading let me, let an me explicit explain, verse... Let, let me please explain how I'm explaining this. This will, this will make sense when I finish this. Okay. Jesus said, uh, uh, mentions that he made all things. That's in Colossians 1. He says that he made all things, okay? So that, it's true, it does say in Colossians. It does say in Colossians 1. Colossians 2, sorry. Genesis. Yeah, in Genesis as well. Yeah, yeah. It talks Jesus about Christ how. Made everything. Yeah, the logos. The logos. The, the, the word. Before Jesus Christ, yeah. 
That's what it says in the Bible. If you read the Bible, you can't rely on the Bible for everything. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's the seven conversations. follow your common sense. What we're saying is, we're having a conversation. No, 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 no. We're talking about scripture, so we're going to scripture to explain scripture, okay? So in that same scripture, that same book, it talks about how Jesus was at the very beginning with God, with the Father, and created all things. In the so, beginning? Yes, at the beginning. But God has no beginning. The beginning of creation. So God, the Father, and so the, the Son. So the Word was created? Yeah, the cross. So Jesus no, no, was no, no, created? No, 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 no. Please don't jump to conclusion. Let me explain what I'm saying. Before the creation of all things. No, 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 no. Let us explain it. This is what the Bible says. Are you not saying it's true? Uh, I'm a That's a separate conversation. I'm saying that. Let us explain what the Bible says. But if, if it's the word of God, you should, it should be true. So you should believe in the Bible if you're a Catholic? No, no, I don't believe Oh, okay. And, and you're a Catholic? No, I'm not. I can't claim that. Yeah, you're diverting. Yeah, I know. Let's get to you're the point. You're diverting. You're diverting. So this book, this Bible says that Jesus created all things. He was there at the very beginning. In many, many places in the Bible, it talks about how Jesus was at the very beginning of all time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that means, yeah. at that time, he was doing amazing things with God. So there, he was creating all things. He was part of the full creation of the heavens and the earth. So that's what the Bible says. Irrespective of whether you believe it or not, that's a separate point. No, because I'm that's a separate point. About that's a separate point. We will talk about that separately. I'm just saying, there you've got that evidence. Then you've got the cases that when Jesus became a man, okay, he took on flesh, and in his humanity, he had an arrangement with the Father to do the Father's will. That was the arrangement when he became a man. So in the capacity as a man, he was doing the will of the Father. He was taking the authority of the Father into doing those miracles. That's the context of, of Jesus no, as a man. But if somebody is given a... That's more John, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But if you give authority... I've been waiting for a miracle, never happened. Are you avoiding me now? No, no, sorry, mate. What are you saying? If somebody given authority, that means that that he didn't have the authority before. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. That's a false that's a, that's a false dichotomy. No, it's a false dichotomy. No, if if I if I can I tell, can I explain why? No, no, you didn't answer my first question. Let me prove to you. I read you. No, don't 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 don't. Let me prove to you. Do you want to listen or not? Shall I walk away? No, no. I'm trying to prove I asked point. you a simple question. Yeah, yeah. I said, Acts 2.22 is an explicit verse. God says something in this verse to us, human beings. And it says, men of Israel, he is telling people, listen to these words. It means pay attention. Jesus of Nazareth, a man, attested to you by God. Yeah. A man yeah. attested by who? Yeah. By who? The father. By God. The father. With miracles yeah. and wonders yeah. and signs yeah. which God performed through him. Yeah. What do you get out of this? What do you understand out of this? So in, in those cases, there are miracles that Jesus will perform through the power and authority of the Father. Not his power. Yes. So he needed the power of God to do those miracles. Yes. So he was not God. That's not what that's saying. Because, because, take example, you've got the power to uh, create trees. I've got the power to create trees. Yeah. If you choose to only use my power to create trees, you could say the same thing, to say that all the power that I'm going to do... To so you mean there is two gods? No, no, what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Jesus may have the power, but may choose not to use it. That's another possibility of what that can mean. Because Jesus what do you mean possibility? Okay. You say... You have to look at other scriptures. You say... You saying that Jesus was God, but he didn't use his powers. He used his father's power. Because powers. there's an arrangement they had. They had an arrangement. What arrangement? You have to read more scripture to understand that arrangement. The arrangement was... Don't worry about it. The father, the son, and the Thank spirit you for talking to together. me. Yeah. I think... When there's explicit verses, it's so blunt, it's so clear that God is saying Jesus is a man. I appointed him 
all the miracles I've been doing. You're missing all the other verses, though. No, no, but he you're going to miss all the verses. No, but this is an explicit verse. Yeah, so there are other verses. You have to put the whole thing as a whole. That's how the Bible is being interpreted. What, your method is the wrong method to interpret the Bible. You've got to pull it in together. Okay, so does... Get all the verses about okay. Jesus, put them all together and yeah. see what you come to the conclusion you're If to. Jesus was God, yeah. why does he say in the Bible, Father is greater than I, Father is greater than all? In his humanity. No, what? In his humanity. In his humanity. What do you mean God was both man and God. Jesus was both man and God at the time. But God cannot be man. God cannot be man. Bible says, I, God, do not change. Yeah, but not in the sense of physicality. It's talking about the concept of him who he represents. He took on flesh. If God was a spirit, a spirit form, yeah? yeah. When he takes flesh form, yeah. he changes form. Yeah? yeah? So it means God changed. But that's not what he meant when he said he doesn't change. What does he mean then? I mean in terms of what God represents. Okay. You mean, uh, I, I think you, you have an understanding of change is different okay, than mine. Okay, okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Is God, is God all-knowing? Yeah. If God is all-knowing, why Jesus didn't know the hour? So again, this is talking about the arrangement between the three uh, persons in the Godhead. Okay. And persons, you mean three different persons? Yes. Yes. So, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. The Father is a person. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is a person. Yeah. And Jesus is a person. Yeah. How many persons there are? Three. So they're not one. Not as persons, no, but they're in one being. Three persons in one being. So you got being as an entity, and then you got the three persons within the one entity. Okay. Am I a person? Yeah. 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 If I if I die, which if if you think that three essence of God is in one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, if they are not, they are they're, they're three different persons, yes. but in essence they are one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How can it be that? It's just because God, the Bible says so. So if the Bible says, we believe in it. Yeah, of course. It's, we can't understand fully the concept of God, the, the nature of God. Can we really fully understand the concept of God and how? No, of course we cannot understand the full so essence of God. But the way he tried to under, make us understand, he has told us in the scripture. But the Bible is scripture, it makes so many contradictions itself that we cannot trust the Bible. I don't have any issue with the I don't know if there's issues. I don't see them as contradictions, but I see them, they're only contradictions if they're misinterpreted. But I can see no, why. How can I misinterpret when, when God said Jesus is a man appointed by God, all his miracles done? with the power of God. What is the misinterpretation in this? Let me explain that. When God came down in flesh as a man, so he changed his nature. From a spirit nature, he changed into flesh nature. So he changed his nature. As a nature. As a but the Bible says, I, God, do not change. That's a different type of change. No, no, no. Let me move that aside. That's a separate issue. Okay. Does, did Jesus knew he going to get crucified? I wanted to believe him. Yes, not as a man, but as God, but, as God, yes. but not as man. I want, I don't, I don't so it depends whether he utilizes his God shit. No, he can be man or God. So he, he cannot be two things at the same time. He can't. Because you cannot be and not be at the same time. Who says? Who says? You and I, we're talking about in human terms. We can't understand the God, how God works. No, but God cannot confuse us. God is not the author of confusion. I don't see the confusion. No, it is. You're saying you can be here and not be here at the no, same no, time. No, 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 no. It's got beyond that thinking. It's got beyond their understanding. Of course, but God, certain things do not befit God, God's attributes. So it has to stick to logic. Okay. Get, can he God be ignorant? No, no. You can, can God if be you ignorant? want. Yeah. Well, no, no, he'd be, beyond, God, that is he'd be beyond the understanding. No, 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 no. sir, sir, if God can no, no, be no. all-knowing, no, no. yeah. no, my point is, yeah. certain okay. things okay. doesn't befit God. Okay. If yeah, we yeah. say God is all-knowing, yeah. so God is logic. we cannot say yeah. God is ignorant. Yeah. So but God, why God is logic. Say? God is logic. Can you get my point, but sir? Can you answer? But you're using logic. You're using human logic you're using to logic try and define. We are human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need yeah, yeah. to understand God in our human logic. Of course, there 
there is. Okay, but yeah. it, yeah. but but, but I can understand God, 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 that if we say something is all knowing, he cannot be ignorant at the same time. Do you think God could make himself into a human being for situation? Do you think that's possible? No, it's not. Why not? Because it doesn't befit him. Why not? His majesty. As the same as God cannot be ignorant at the same time. Because is it actually possible? Why, why would God no, become a man? Why? Exactly. I mean, why? Sam, we can only use our logic. Why? To get logic a close relationship with right. man. So he creates this beautiful uh, creation so, so is, to save him. He has to come God, among them. Why? Because so he yeah, can yeah, relate to us. So we can relate to oh, him. He made us, but he cannot understand that he cannot relate to us. No, no, no. For us to relate to him. For us to relate to him in a personal way. What do you mean by personal way? What do you mean? Why if I'm just a spirit 20 million miles away to have a relationship with you versus coming into the flesh and standing right in oh, front of you. So God cannot see us 20, mi uh, no, 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 20 million no, no, miles no, away. My point. He cannot no, 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 understand no, no. us. You're missing my point. No, you just said. Let me make my point. The God 20 million miles away. You're misinterpreting my point. My point is this. For you to have a relationship with God, is it much easier if God was standing right in front of you versus a God that's a long way away? For you, for you, not for God, but for you, would your relationship with God be much easier if I stood right in front of you as God? God is omnipresent. But I'm saying for you. God is omnipresent. I'm saying for you. Not for, yeah, for us. If I, that's why God did it. Because if for you mentally, but God says I'm omni, omnipresent. True. He's present everywhere. True. But so why do I need Him to come stand in, in front of me? Because as a human, to help you as a human, because it's much easier for you to human to relate to another human. Oh, so I cannot relate to God. It's I have to relate to a human. Because you can relate. It's easier. So I need, I need some agent. Oh, it's easier. I need. God did it to help you. Help I need mankind. a second person in the middle to reach to God. What we're saying is, Jesus came down to help the relationship. He also came down so that he would suffer for us in the way that we suffer. Why would somebody else suffer for me? To pay for the whole of sin. Because it needed to be paid for. Why? Because, it, it, because the Bible the says, but the, the Bible says, I'm going to power for it. That, no, the Bible itself says that the, the, the son's iniquity wouldn't be on the father and the son and the father's iniquity would not, not be on the son. So why would somebody else suffer for me? Let me explain this. We went into court, yeah. which all of yeah. mankind went into the court of law, and we said we've all seen, we've all, we've all, we've obviously all seen, the yeah. we all do. Yeah. The judge is going to say, okay, he may forgive people for certain things if they're genuine in their forgiveness, or sorry I did this and the other. Yeah. If there's still a problem of the punishment or the payment for that, for the, what they've done wrong. Yeah. So in the court of law, you still need to have a punishment for the sin. Yeah, how, does, how does God yeah. deal with the payment of all that wrongdoing? Okay, in the court of law, when we go, if I do something wrong, yeah. My brother or not will be punished for me. So in your logic, because I do sin, God, as you said in your Bible, you claim that he killed his son because of me. Hello. So it's okay in your logic. Okay. In your logic, it's okay that if I I do a crime, yeah. my brother should be punished. No, but your logic says, for my sin, God killed his son. No, let me explain better. Let me explain better. We have to have be fruitful for our own sin. That's a separate thing in dealing with our own sin. Okay. But the, the, but the sin itself, the wrong that's been done, somebody has got to pay for that legally. So how do we settle that? So if God gets paid, what did he forgive? So it needs forgiveness and it needs payment. So there's justice and forgiveness. It needs to be both. Because God is no, I get that. I get that. Okay. If I did a sin for the whole humanity, if Jesus died for our sins, where is the forgiveness? Because God punished Jesus. He killed him. He got crucified. So God got God got paid. He did not forgive nothing. Because forgiveness is something for me that if you do something wrong, I don't have to get a payment from somebody. Like it's like if you owe me a tenner, if you owe me a tenner, I can say I forgive you, or I can say to the gentleman, you pay that tenner for him. So when I forgive you for that. 
go in the I did not forgive the tenner. No, no, wait. I did not forgive the tenner. I took... No, bro. If you owe me a tenner, and if I took that tenner from him, I didn't forgive nothing. If Jesus died for our sins, God got paid. He did not forgive anybody. Forgiveness is something like this. If you owe me something, and if I want to forgive you, I would say, do you know what? What's your name? Ray, I forgive you. That's forgiveness. But if I take it from somebody else, that's not forgiveness. That's for me, I got my payment. Yeah, I get that, I get that. But what so for you is, to, to say that God killed his son for our sins to forgive us, he got paid. He didn't forgive nothing. So let me, let me, so yeah, so what, where, where that's not quite right is... So for me, it's right. Yeah, okay, I can see where you're going with that. And for me, you your logic doesn't work. Okay. There is no forgiveness. That's fine, that's a typical Muslim uh, uh, view of it, to be honest. No, but logically, if you think, sir, for Give me the something that you let it go. Well, let me let me let me put my logic, please. So that's your logic, and I, I see where you're going with that. It sounds kind of okay, but here, here's where I am. Okay, okay. It is logic. Yes. If I, I can if, I, if you owe me money, if I let it go, do you, that's forgiveness. Can, let me speak now. You spoke a lot. Please. You do know sometimes that two people can both have very logical answers to an explanation which could be opposing, but they both make sense. Have you ever had that situation? Before? Because sometimes the logic is based on, on certain premises, certain presuppositions, okay. and sometimes those premises may not be correct. So that's why two people would have a logic that both make sense, but yet be different. So that logic doesn't mean it's definitive, and that explains it, because there's another, another way of looking at it. So let me show you the way I'm looking at it. Okay. If I do wrong yeah. to you, yeah. now I need to be forgiven for what I've done wrong. Yeah. Okay. So if you do forgive me, yeah. if I let it go, yeah, at least I'm not accountable to you. But because of the wrong I've done, there needs to be where is the justice served for the wrong that I've done. That's a separate issue. No, so the I'm wrong you did it for me, sir, and for me to forgive you, I let it go. It's done and dusted. But that's not justice. No, if. But where's the justice? No, if you, in a in a very honest way, in a good heart, in repentance, that you felt bad, yeah. that you did something wrong to me, yeah. and you come ask for forgiveness from me, and if I forgive you, that's forgiveness, and then done and dusted. Because you felt bad, you felt sorry, you repented. I got a feeling where I put it. Say I did a lot of wrong to you, okay? And I'm doing it on a regular basis, and you're forgiving me for it. That's great, okay? Here's the problem. I still feel, as a person, as much as you've forgiven me, yeah. that I haven't been made accountable for my wrong. Yeah. So I still need for me to sort that out. So I'm going to go to you and say, look, for all the wrong I've done you, yeah. I'm going to now buy you a car. A beautiful car, because I've let you down so many times. I know you've forgiven me, but because I don't feel right in myself, that I haven't been made accountable, you kind of let me off. I want to be accountable for the wrong I've done. So I'm going to settle that by giving you that gift. That's from your own goodwill that you're going to give me that car. But you won't go and say, uh, punish my brother or punish my son. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is... But God punished, God punished Jesus for no, no, your he, sins. No, 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 he didn't punish Jesus. I'm saying sacrifice him, kill him. Jesus was willing to do so. No, it wasn't. Because in the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell in his knees and says, Oh, Father, in his humanity. let the... It's all about humanity. Again, so it, he says, take this cup away know, from me. I know, I know. It's a complex the cup itself yeah. symbolizes crucifixion. Yeah. And plus, if he knew that he's going to die for our sins, and then we, the, the salvation will happen, a Jewish person comes to him and says, oh, good master, how can I get salvation? Jesus says, why do you call me good? Only God yeah, is good. Yeah, One point that I know, he I know, I know. points that he's not God. It's, God is good. Is second, humanity. second, he says, go sell your stuff and give it to charity, and you will wait, and you will find salvation. If Jesus knew, he is he came to die for humanity. If Jesus was honest, he would say to the Jewish man, don't worry about anything. Go home 
I'm here. I will get crucified. I will die. And you believe in that and you will get salvation. Simple. Simple as that. So why he didn't say to that man? Don't forget, go home. Don't, don't forget back there, he was dealing with the Jews, and the Jews were under the uh, covenant, okay, under the law. No, but the man yeah, came honestly, asked him, how yeah, do yeah, I get salvation? Let me explain, let me explain. Oh, you're not allowing me to finish my sentences. No, but you're going, you're going in a different tangent. No, I'm if I'm not. saying... I'm, I'm putting it together, I'm, I'm putting it together. No, you're going like... Please, I promise like, you. Sir, sir, I promise I'm you. trying to it tell you. It may sound like that. Can I say I'm one thing and I'll shut up? Right. I'm telling you <laughs> to hold your nose like this. Yeah, but you're going like this. Do you get my point? Okay. Because I'm asking direct questions. You're not giving me direct answers. Because that's not how it works in scripture. Because the scripture was explained the way it's explained. I have to explain this way that the Bible was written. To confuse? Do you agree? To confuse? No, no. So I don't have my version. So, so when when a scripture is explicit, it doesn't need your version or my version. It's explicit. No, 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 no. Because the interpretation is not necessarily one interpretation. No, explicit verse doesn't. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily, mate. That is the mistake you're making. That, that is because I think you can do that in the Quran, no, no, but you can't. He wants you to answer the way he wants. Don't you? Yeah. No, it's okay. No, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I asked him a simple question. If Jesus knew. That salvation was for him to die. A man came and asked him, "How the, does he get salvation?" Because he was dealing with a specific person. He should have told him then. Hold on, he that I came to die. You, why should he have told him that? Why should you decide that Jesus? Can I ask you a question? That's why, logic. Why should you decide how Jesus should answer a particular thing? You're not being honest. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm, why I'm wrong. Anyway? I'm wrong. No, I'm why maybe should ignorant. You? No, I'm just wondering. But why I was you... just trying to ask simple questions to give me simple answers. As I said before. I tell you what. I tell you what we do. Because we brought this up as a subject. Come back next week. I'll do some research and I'll, and I'll pull the verses that tie this together. Do you see what I'm saying? Because otherwise, otherwise, you can draw all sorts of conclusions. Sure, sure. No you know what I'm saying? No Thank I'll be you very much. Okay. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Content over everything. From Yahweh Melanie. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Listen. Yeah. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to I'm not going to be